Namaste all dear teachers. This is M Srinivas and you are watching Sri9 Teaching YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to give the answers for the quiz for the Nishtha 3.0 TS F11 module 11 that is integration of ICT in teaching, learning and assessment. So that is module 11 assessment quiz. For all the questions, I am giving the answers in this video. So please watch them so that you can do well in your quiz assessment so that you also get the e-certificate okay so that's why i request you please watch the full video so that you can do well and after watching this if you feel this is useful to you please like my video share it to your friends and also please subscribe to my channel sri9 teaching and also press the bell button now let us start the quiz Now in this quiz, let us start the first question. Which of the following tools can be used for creativity? The answer for this is first option text paint. Now next question. Which of the following media platforms can't be used for enhancing procedural knowledge dimension? So the answer for this question is text. The next question. ICT integration in teaching learning means first point only the use of internet and digital devices second thoughtful use of technology third use of digital devices as a means to achieve the required objectives and learning outcomes fourth usage of technology seamlessly for educational processes choose the correct option now here the correct answer is two three and four the next question, online courses encourages first point personalized learning, second self paced learning, third mal practices, fourth lifelong learning. Choose the correct options. The correct answer is 1, 2, 4, the first option. Next question, which one of the following is not true? ICT teaching material should, the correct answer is be highly paid always. The next question, tax math is. The correct answer is games. Next question, ICT stands for. The correct answer is information and communication technology. The next question, following are the parameters to be considered while integrating ICT. The correct answer is nature of content, infrastructure and human. The next question, one of the focus areas of NEP 2020 is foundation literacy and numeracy FLN, which was always a focus of. The correct answer is pre-primary and primary education. The next question, the hierarchy of the content transacted at the pre-primary or primary stage under the dimensions of knowledge is. The correct answer is factual, conceptual, procedural, and metacognition. The next question, MOOC stands for? The correct answer is Massive Open Online Course. Next question, DASH means class size, diversity in terms of age, cultural context, socioeconomic status, gender, marginality, geographical location and availability or access to technology. The correct answer is demographic. The next question, at the primary level DASH can be used by teachers for encouraging participation and promoting joyful learning. The correct answer is digital games. Next question, NEP 2020 recommends to achieve universal foundational literacy and numeracy in school by the correct answer is 2025. Next question. Activity of comparing the recorded pronunciation of a word with the correct pronunciation can be practiced in. The correct answer is language labs. Next question. Dash helps to resolve the physical infrastructural challenges of lab experiences and physical demonstration or testing. The correct answer is virtual labs. 
Next question, dash is the more appropriate resource to be used to teach different sounds of birds, animals and various natural audios etc. The correct answer is audio resources. Next question, dash does not support visualizing processes which are not easily accessible in the classroom situation. The correct answer is printed materials. Next question, children are in vulnerable situations when they get exposure to dash. The correct answer is harmful and exploiting sites. Next question, content transacted at the dash stage may include readiness for reading, writing and numeracy. The correct answer is foundational. See here we wrote 20 questions and we answered all the 20 questions. Now I am submitting. So here we got 20 out of 20 score. It means that we wrote all the questions answers correctly. So how it is? So you also can do the same thing. So if you feel this video is useful to you, please like my video, share it to your friends and also please subscribe to my channel and also press the bell button for further videos. Thank you for watching.